Hey guys, this is my Keurig K Supreme, and I just wanted to show you some of the features that I really like about it and how I get a really good cup of coffee from it. So first off, let me just say that you don't have to use a Keurig brand K cup. You can use a non-Keurig brand K cup in there and it will work just fine. So as long as your favorite brand of coffee um, makes a K cup, it should work in the Keurig. And it's really simple. All you have to do is just lift up the lid. You're just going to take the cup and I've got a Dunkin' original brand medium roast. I'm just going to pop it in there and you close the lid. And when you do that, um, the it's going to light up and here's the features that i think make a really good cup of coffee so first off you can brew a standard brew a six eight ten or twelve ounce brew but you've also got a strong option here that allows you to brew a stronger uh, cup of coffee and what that does is it keeps the water in the k cup longer and it allows it to extract more flavor before it it dispenses it and lets it flow into your coffee cup and so obviously that's going to give you a much stronger brew size as well. Um, we really like our iced coffee drinks around here. So it has an over ice feature. It's going to brew a six ounce uh, cup of coffee that's specifically designed to be brewed over ice. And what happens is, is it's going to brew very hot in the beginning and then it's going to cool down towards the end. So it doesn't melt too much ice, making it really ideal for the iced coffee brews. It's also got an add water and a descale light to give you um, just an idea of some maintenance things you might need to do from time to time. As far as the reservoir goes, this is one of my favorite Keurig reservoirs because the handle is just so easy to use. It's very sturdy. It's very well balanced. It just makes it easy to take it on and off as well as if you want to fill it, you could just fill it right here by taking the lid off. This also came with a tall filter cartridge assembly. I don't have a filter in it at the moment, but you can see the assembly there in the tank. And when I do have a filter, it goes at the bottom, as well as it comes with a recyclable or reusable uh, coffee filter. So you can put your own coffee grounds in this, and this will work uh, with the Keurig K Supreme. And you can see that it's got these five holes in the top. And the reason for that is that the K Supreme has what's called multi brew technology. So it's got five needles up here, right up here, you can see them, that puncture the top of the K-cup and inject the water in it. And then there's the one needle at the bottom. Now, I've been using the Classic and the K-Elite for a long time, and those are single needle brews. And so when I, or brewers, so when I started using this on the multi-needle brew, it felt like the, it tasted like the flavor was better. Because I think with the more needles, get more coffee that saturate the coffee grounds. And it just feels like, tastes like I get a better cup of coffee from this than I do from my older Keurig. Other than that, it's got a really sleek style. Down here, you can see it's got a drip tray that is removable. When you do remove it, you can fit up to a seven inch uh, travel mug or tumbler in there. Uh, and as well with the removable drip tray, just makes it easy to wash and keep clean. So now let me show you how I brew a cup of coffee with this. All right, so now let me show you how we brew a cup of coffee. So first, we're going to turn it on. We're going to open the lid, and I'm going to do a Dunkin' Original Blend Medium Roast. This is a great medium roast coffee, a little bit towards the darker side of a medium roast, so it's got a strong, smooth flavor. I'm just going to close the lid, and I'm just going to do a standard brew. So I'm going to select the 8-ounce, because most K-Cups have them with about 2 tablespoons of coffee in them, and 8 ounces of water is perfect for that. I'm just going to hit the K button to start it. And now it's going to brew away. Now this machine brews pretty quick because it heats the water as it uses it. To whereas other um, older Keurigs, they have a water tank and it pulls the water in there and it heats that up and then it puts it through the coffee. So this goes a lot quicker. It only takes about 45 or 50 seconds to brew an eight ounce cup. Ah, the perfect cup of coffee brewed on my Keurig K Supreme, the Duncan Original Blend Medium Roast. It's a good cup of coffee. I think you'll like it.